But two store owners say their first career was about making money. Their second career was for the fun of it. In today's Business Matters, you'll see why. We spoke to the owners of Twin Cities Sports Cards and Papa Hawk's Sports and Collectibles. I know exactly what people collect, what they're looking for. An unassuming sports card shop in Golden Valley is like any good collection. Not flashy, but lets the quality speak for itself. Here's a 1949 Yogi Berra. Rob Hunnix has been collecting cards since age eight. Always wanted to open a shop. After retirement, he had that chance. Mark and I started kicking around the idea over 10 years ago. What if? We have boxes and boxes of cards. Mark Hochstetter handles the memorabilia. I'm amazed every day because you never know what to expect. Baseball is still king in the collecting world. You've got the 1961 Yankees. But each sport has its faithful. We've got game-used hockey sticks that are signed. The shop looks more like a museum. They are called the kissing bobbleheads from the 60s. That gives you a lesson on sports history. We got the Muhammad Ali piece signed. Except everything has a negotiable price. Even though it's a retail store, we're always negotiating it. They are always buying. If you want to sell it, we want to buy it. But right now, they've got so much. If we never bought anything else, we could spend two years pricing it, and we'd probably still have things left. The average customer is like them. People our age, more vintage, uh, 55 and older, a lot of people that are 60, 65 and older. Who look for the quality and the joy of finding that perfect piece. It's not the go-go years of the late 80s and 90s. Um, people aren't in it to make money the way they were back then when people went out and bought a Beckett and looked every month because the prices were increasing. Today it's more because it's a passion and it's the same way uh, for Mark and I. And if you are a longtime customer, you've probably noticed the shop has moved. It used to be in a 600 square foot space on Hillsborough Avenue. Its new space is 2,200 square feet.